my beautiful family how are you all doing i hope everyone is well by the grace of god today is thursday happy thursday welcome back to Ernestina's kitchen if you are a subscriber please welcome if you're new please you're also welcome i want to take a minute to thank all my subscribers my viewers my supporters for amazing job i am truly grateful and appreciative god will bless you guys all abundantly you guys are awesome and i love you guys for this so this evening children's choice my children said they want this yes it's going to be hot dog fried rice or you can say sausage fried rice yes so this is something that children love so much or even adults so it can go both ways so guys here are our beautiful ingredients all right so we have margarine any type of margarine is fine we have fried rice seasoning we have sesame oil we have dark soya sauce we have vegetable oil we have mixed vegetables we have part royal rice this is leftover rice from my fridge uh, any type of rice you want to use is absolutely fine we have white onions and scott bunny peppers we have eggs and of course we have sausages or winners this is the type i'm using guys okay you can see it's chicken a chicken um hot dogs this is spicy guys okay any type of hot dogs you want to use is fine so guys fasting your seat belt let's get cooking all right so we will begin with our one white onion and a couple of or a few of scott body peppers so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to just cut it nicely okay Yes, I see. So, so. All right, so I have finished cutting my onion. Now we are going to cut our scalp bunny peppers. So we are ready to cut our hot dog. Because God has arrived, Jesus has arrived. So 
we go to church and celebrate we come home then we have our nice feast and that's how my family and i we spend our easter so guys drop your comment how do you spend or how do you celebrate your easter i really would love to know thank you guys i hope someone tell me how they celebrate their easter minute and everything will be done yes so guys it looks so good so i am ready to pour my nice winners it looks so delicious yes we are going to add a little bit more oil just like so make it nice and hot then we are going to add our eggs so i did not mix the eggs because when it's like you get a little bit white a little bit um of the yolk like that it tastes really nice so I'm putting my eggs just like so. I'm not adding any salt because the uh, sauce has a lot of sodium. And if you're not careful, your food is going to taste way too salty. So we don't want that, right? So, just like so. Eggs look so good enough to eat. This is very nice if you're having breakfast with some whole wheat bread toasted, a little bit of jam with your scrambled eggs and some avocado. Beautiful. Try it. Nice healthy breakfast right there. Alright guys, so as you can see, our delicious eggs. <laughs> beautiful eggs are ready Ooh, beautiful yummy 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 all right okay guys so make sure your pot is nice and hot we are adding in our margarine nice the reason i'm using margarine is it has so much flavor it will bring so much flavor to the uh, fried rice so we are going to Oh, it smells so good already. Just gonna make it so far, but maybe one minute. Hi, right, guys. So, I'm using pot brown rice. I think I said it earlier on. I was just so I have to repeat myself again. When you're making fried rice, okay, the best is your fries. I mean, I'm sorry, your rice is cold. And you know, as you can see how it is, yeah, it's nice and cold. It was left over, left over from the fridge. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add it in the pan. We're not going to use all of it for salad, right? So I'm, I'm going to use about this much, just like that. Okay. You want the best, uh, best result? Make sure your rice is cold. Yes. Also adding in our more onions just like so. 
dessert to give it that crunchiness. My children, believe it or not, my children love onions. Yes. And this one here is also optional. You don't need to put it. When you put fried rice seasoning, it gives it such a nice taste. Okay, so I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit, just like so. If you want to like measure, it will be just one teaspoon. Also, to give it more flavor, this one is also optional. Okay, you don't need to put it. This one here, you are going to just, it's a sesame oil. You are going to just drizzle, just like Oh, beautiful. Now we are going to mix it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Ooh, beautiful. I love it. So guys, I hope you guys can enjoy this, okay? Share with friends and family always. It always has different food and stuff like that. Yes. All right, guys, as you can see, this is for my daughter. She's ready to dig in. So, we are going to dish out the rest. Yes. All right, guys. So, there you have it. I hope you enjoy this video as much as i enjoy doing it okay thank you so much for watching please 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 don't forget to subscribe like and share and become part of and the steamless kitchen family because you know what we love big family thank you so much guys you see how I made it like this? I made it like this because it's very easy to go in your fridge. All you have to do is when the children are ready, you take one out and you give it to them just like that. All right, so today's message. Today's message is going to be simple. Today's message is we have to give thanks to God for all that for us because of him we are well and healthy and tomorrow he is going to sacrifice himself for us so we have to thank you i mean we have to thank him we don't want nothing just a simple thank you to almighty god so guys i hope you enjoyed this video again thank you again god bless you all See you next time!